In this video, we are going to continue with rules of differentiation and we are going to focus on the constant multiple and addition or subtraction rule. You will find this on page 260 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. The constant multiple and addition or subtraction rule. Consider the function kfx. We're going to first focus on the constant multiple rule. Where k is a scalar multiple or a constant and fx is a function. So what is the rule stating? So basically, you are just going to leave the k in front and you're going to differentiate the function. And then afterwards, you're going to multiply it by the k. So let's look at an example. Do you see? There's my constant 4 and there is my function. So I'm just going to leave the 4 and I differentiate the function. So it's going to give me, if I differentiate that, it's going to give me 3 and subtract 1, so x to the power of 2. And then at the end, I can say 4 times 3 and that will be 12x to the power of 2. So remember the constant multiple rule like this. If k is a constant multiple, leave k alone. Don't differentiate it, just it's a constant. There's not a variable in. So, and then when you differentiate, but after, you can multiply it by the constant. So, to, okay, so that was the constant multiple rule. Now, to find the derivative of a polynomial such as, do you see? It's a term minus a term plus a constant. The sum or difference rule, it's just another word for subtraction rule, allows us to differentiate the polynomial term by term. If fx and gx are function, then the subtraction or difference rule states as follow. So here is the rule. So I just differentiate the first term or function and then I differentiate the second function. And I keep the sign whatever stands there. So let's look at an example. So, do you see? This example is having one, two, three terms. So, I'm just going to differentiate this one. So, it's going to be 4, subtract 1 from the index, 4x to the power 3. This one is going to be 3x to the power 2. And this one is going to be minus 2x. And that will be the answer. So, remember the sum or difference rule, subtraction rule, like this. For the sum or difference of a function, just differentiate each function separately. Okay, so each term separately. Let's look at an example. Clean this. Okay, so differentiate this. So um, I'm, I'm just writing it so that you understand it. So because there's not a y or a fx, I'm going to go for this format. So I write it. So there's the constant 2. I differentiate the function part. There's the negative 8, differentiate the function part. And if there's no x, then it will be x to the power of 0. Okay. And then I'm doing it, so I'm, I was just writing it, and now I'm, I'm basically going to differentiate. So now I'm going to say 2, and this is going to be 3x squared minus 8. This is 1, x0, plus 7, and that will be 0. And then I'm just going to basically simplify this. So 2 times 3 is 6, x to the power 2. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So this will be 1, my color correct, 1 times that 1 times that negative 8, and that's where you get negative 8. But if you multiply by 0, then it will be 0. So that will be your final answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try note 2 and I'm just going to move it up a little bit. I want you to do A and D. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Let's start with number A. I'm just going to first write the function, but let's write it in, oh, okay. Uh, they say differentiate. I'm just going to write it like this. 
So because there's not a y or a, um, or a fx, I'm going to go for this notation. And it's just going to just like that one in the example. Okay. Now, um, just to make it easier, you don't have to, so it's basically just every term, so I can basically just do it. So I'm differentiating this term, so I just leave that, okay, um, I'm going to write it in this format, and from there on, I will not do it. So just to, to be a little bit more formal in this first example, I'm going to write it like I did in the example with you, to so show you, but it's not necessary. And it was actually that x2, and then it was minus 8. And just to show you, there's no x term, but that means actually x to the power of 0. Okay. Uh, and then I just say 3 multiply, or I can, I think it's better to leave it in a bracket. So it's 2x minus. 8 and that remember if you basically differentiate this is going to just be 0 okay so then basically this is going to be just 6x and that's your final answer okay and then let's look at number D so this is going to be 7 minus 3x plus 5x squared, um, okay, and i just do read this part, I'm just going to write it better, as I said, in this first example, I'm going to do it a little bit more formal, so in this case, it's going to be 7, and then it's going to be d over dx, and that's going to be uh, x to the power of 0 minus 3 d over dx and that's going to be x plus 5 d over dx and that's going to be x to the power of 2. Okay. And then don't forget, this is 0, so it's going to be 7 times that 0, minus 3, and this is going to be, remember it's 1, so it's 1, and then 1 multiply x to the power of 0, so it's actually just going to be 1, plus the 5, and this is going to be 2x. Okay, and then I'm just going to get, go to my final answer. So my final answer, this will be 0, there will be negative 3 plus, and it's going to be 10x. And that's going to be my final answer. We will continue with this constant multiple addition and subtraction rule in the next video.